Hey, welcome to another Fishworthy Adventure episode. We're here at Woods Canyon Lake for a fishing report to see who is catching fish. Woods Canyon Lake is located on the Mogam Rim in northern Arizona, a quick 40 minute drive from Payson. Spanning over 55 acres, the lake is regularly stocked with trout but also contains some bluegill. The ramp at the lake is very convenient when launching a boat or kayak and at full capacity, the rock shores and logs created some nice habitat for fish. After catching some bluegill with my fly rod, my dog Sandy and I headed back to shore to see what other techniques were working to catch fish. I got two of them on a, on a panther martin. Oh yeah? Yeah. Those are good spinners, aren't they? Yes, they are. <laughs> on a yellow with red dots. And uh, the other ones we caught on worms. The other three. Like nightcrawler worms? Nightcrawler or? worms, yeah. Uh, we had a good day in the water. I had, uh, I had probably <laughs> A half a dozen hits on that uh, on that uh, Panther Martin. Yeah. Really, gar I mean, just hammered it. Didn't hook up. <laughs> One of those things, you know. About what time did you catch most of them? We didn't get here till about ten. Yeah. Oh dang! So you only fished for two hours. Yeah. Get that. <laughs> I had I had one like within the first two minutes I was here. Three that of them. Two of them are like really good. That middle one is a nice one. <laughs> so yeah, I'm really impressed. Um, I was here, like, like I said, three years ago and the fish were like half that size at least. Yeah. So I'm not sure. That it, the guy over there said they plant bigger fish now. What kind of setup do you use? Just like a, what do they call them? A slip sinker, a swivel, and a treble hook. Yeah. Power bait. Yeah, and power bait, obviously. Um, what color power bait do you use? Chartreuse green. Yeah. With glitter. After learning the chartreuse power bait worked for Russell, I passed on the information. Is that what you guys were using this morning? Was that chartreuse? Um, no, we were actually using the garlic, um, garlic corn, mixing it together. Okay. But we're going to call the chartreuse. Might as well, we hadn't had any bites in a while. So you got so two half pound weights. Two half pound weights. On about a 12 to 18 inch leader. Pass them out, pull it up to the top. Nice. So we're floating about 12 inches off the bottom. It's a, a Zepco Omega. Omega? Mm -hmm. oh, nice. She's been about can I say she's been about wore out. Did that just pop? Yep, got it. Get away from the water. <laughs> We've lost a few. There we go. Nice job, baby. Told you there was one on there. Yep. You just cast that one out, right? Just cast that one. Yeah, there was something funky about the way it worked. That's how it wow. What a rainbow. Weighing in at probably just under two pounds. 1.7, 1.6, 1.7. Beautiful fish. Congratulations, man. Yeah. <laughs> were all of them like that this morning or? They were like that or, yeah, this morning they were two, two to two and a half. So they were bigger than this. <laughs> Jeez. Two to two and a half. And what were you using then? Uh, the uh, corn and garlic. Or, I mean like right now, I'm right sorry. Now yeah. Yeah. The chartreuse uh, power was, bait? Uh, chartreuse per your uh, suggestion. Yep. Yeah, see, we tell everybody what, what they find for us right this second may not be, but if it works for you, great. But this is what works for us, and 
John and his family, spanning three generations, have been dedicated fishermen. And for the last 43 years, they've been coming to Woods Canyon Lake. Your little friend right here. That's Sandy. Sandy. smell like fish. That's my son over there. This is like my two great grandsons. What you guys using? What were you using? That fire bait, right? Here's a, uh, a green one. Like a green one? Yeah. A chartreuse? Yeah. That's, uh, seems to be the key one today. Everybody. Everybody's getting off that. Yeah. Uh, were you guys just using like a weight and a triple hook or? Yeah. Triple hook and uh, some weights. You know, some little, depends how deep you want to go. Yeah. The, I like the little, uh, what, an egg shape, little balls that get the little holes in the center. Okay. I, I love those in the, you know, you're the, because you got different sizes, but the uh, medium size is, is works. Well, I saw you guys clean them up on the rock there. Oh, yeah. Mind yeah, if I, uh, man, those are some nice rainbows. Yeah, they, those, th these are the smallest ones. Those are the bigger ones over there. Those, my, my, uh, my friend, my buddy, my brother, he was, he was doing that right there in uh, Philan. And he, he said, man, this, this is some pink meat. This is pr prime, this is. <laughs> I was like, yeah, boy, it's going to be some good eating right now. Let me ask you something. Does it help being a Cowboys fan when fishing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've been a fan since uh, probably not, your mom wasn't born yet. <laughs> uh, back in 15, 60, 1960, I, was a, I became a fan. You see, it's good to be a Cowboys fan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One of the, the lakes that, that I enjoy in my life. I, I, there's good days and bad days, but you know what? Being just here, you can yep. sit in a, in a chair and, and just sit there forever because it's so nice and cool. Well, that concludes this fishing report. I hope you've enjoyed watching. And as always, be sure to like and leave a comment below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button to the channel to see more episodes and fishing reports like this. Thanks for watching. Fishworthy Adventures.